Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the Netgroups functionality inside of AllCAD Capture or Capture CIS. So Netgroups are a, a collection of signals um, that you want to group together. Uh, so they've got some kind of electrical um, similarity. So a couple of examples I've got here are something like a, maybe an Ethernet port where I've got ETH is the name of the, the net group. So you would see ETH dot and then the actual individual net name. So I've got um, a couple of differential pairs with the Ethernet one. Uh, we've also got a USB option, maybe a JTAG, maybe a DDR memory where you want to group like minded signals together. By designing them this way, what happens is when they get transferred to uh, PC, the Cadence PCB tools via the design sync or netlist, uh, would group them uh, as a bus and then it would uh, enable you to kind of, you know, set uh, like minded physical spacing and electrical rules to those objects. So I've got a few examples here of, of just how to use the net group functionality. So we'll start off by just placing an existing net group and we can do that from place uh, net group. We can use this kind of little icon with the green plus or U as the, as the key. So if we come up here and use the icon place net group. We get the net group form. So I've currently got um, an Ethernet bus and a USB bus and you can see a, a, the collection of the singles underneath that. So we'll go and just place the USB bus for now. So we'll select the USB. You can if you want to make this like a hierarchical block based object, but in general, if you just want to draw it like you would draw a normal bus, it's probably the easiest way and the most direct way to use that inside of, a, of the tool. So we'll, we'll specify the name USB, click OK, and then our mouse hair changes and we can then go and draw the net group that we want. So that would then give us the USB bus. To connect to this, obviously I can select the pin, right mouse button, connect to bus, pick the pin, and then in this example, this will be um, the H. Um, I'll pick that one to that one. This will be the L. And then we'll do that one to that one will be effectively the ground connection. And there to there would be effectively the VCC connection. Okay, so that's effectively the first net group. And obviously I then need to make that connection to um, another page. So if I use something like an off page connector, so we choose an off page connector um, I want it to be a net group off page and in this example I'm just going to call it uh, USB and then just change the drop down here to be USB click OK and we'll just rotate the off page connector and you'll notice graphically the the uh, net group off page is, is a, a bolder version of the standard off page connector so if I just shift at, put down a, a box standard uh, off page connector um, let's just pick that one, click OK. You can see graphically um, it's a thinner version uh, of the, the Netgroup one. So we need to make sure that you choose the Netgroup option when you're using Netgroups. Um, and it's the same for hierarchical ports as well. So that's fit for our USB connection. Um, I want to do uh, a JTAG connector now. So what we'll do is we'll actually need to make a, a, a Netgroup for this. So we'll launch the Netgroup command again. We'll add Netgroup. We'll give it the Netgroup name. So I want to call this JTAG. We'll then apply that. And then we need to add members to this this so we'll click on the add members so we've got a choice of either adding a net group member a scalar uh, pin which is effectively uh, individual pin members or we could use a bus so if i had a bus maybe uh, dq brackets not to two close brackets you could see it would then give me the three objects as the bus if i was going to add that don't need that for the for the jtag connector so we'll get rid of the bus and we'll just do these as individual scalar pins so i need a, a tdi pin so we'll OK that one. We need to add a uh, TMS pin. We need to add a, a TDO pin. A TCK pin. And a VREF pin. So that gives me my five effectively nets that I want to add. So we'll click OK. That then adds um, this to the design. So I now effectively have a JTAG object with my individual net members. So I'll click on JTAG, click OK, and then go and draw my net group object. And then to connect them, I'm just going to choose these five pins and we'll do a right mouse button connect to bus. And we'll click all of them in one go. And that effectively adds my, my connections in. We'll then add a, an off page connector for JTAG. So off page left, uh, we're going to do a net group off page. We're going to choose JTAG and we'll give it a name of JTAG. Click OK and add the off uh, the off page connector. Let's just go to the other page and just finish up the schematic. So uh, I've just got to add the the JTAG connections in here. So we'll do place net group again. Choose the JTAG. 
click OK and we'll draw this in zoom in and then I want that to be that one so select right click connect to bus so I need uh, TDI I need TDO TMS TCK and VREF Let's add the off page connector, a JTAG, give it a name a JTAG, click OK. That sorts out the connectivity and I'm kind of good to go to carry on. So what we then do is we'll effectively we'll uh, we'll save the design and then we will launch design sync. So uh, I'm going to work in the PCB Allegro folder. I've got a netgroup start board. So let's go in here and start with my netgroup. I'm then going to generate a netgroup board. We'll click OK. This then runs uh, the netlister or the design sync option. Launches PCB editor. So we'll just launch with a professional base license. And then if we actually go to constraint manager. So set up constraints inside of PCB editor. And we look at... Um, any of these so total edge length you can see effectively there's my eth there's my jtag there's my usb so they're grouped as a bus based object and i can then apply the relevant rules to those based on whatever i need to do for my design constraints